PTI's Drive to Arrive Alive Winter Driving Course. Driving in winter means cold temperatures, snow, sleet, and ice that can lead to slower traffic and dangerous road conditions. To make it safely through the winter, the PTI driver will have to be prepared. The leading cause of deaths during winter storms is transportation accidents. Risk Management Driving Decisions What can I do to make certain I return home to see my family? Have I properly inspected my vehicle? Have I talked to other drivers, my managers and crew members about safety? Am I prepared for emergencies? My family, the crews, are depending on me, so I will not take any unnecessary chances. It's not worth it. My motto will be to arrive alive. Pass that motto on to everyone this winter. Let's all arrive alive. Before you drive, prior to driving in winter-like conditions, you need to clean the entire van before you begin to drive. Make sure all lights work and are clear of ice and or snow. Clean ice and snow off your windshield wiper blades and check your horn, adjust your mirrors, and test your brakes. Do this before you leave for your trip. Suggested items to keep during winter, extra gloves, a shovel, and a good functioning flashlight. Check it every day. Emergency items. Snow brush with scraper, blanket, mittens, socks, and hat, small shovel, make sure you have flares or triangles as required, weather specific windshield washer fluid as provided by your branch manager. Do not race the engine because the oil is not yet circulated and will result in excess metal to metal contact. Racing the engine provides no heater advantage either. Clean all the lights and ensure maximum light advantage. Scrape all windows and mirrors for all around visibility. Sweep all snow and ice from the vehicle to prevent it from falling off while moving. This could pose a serious hazard for others. Good all around visibility is important. Remember, being in a hurry will result in accidents down the road. Skid avoidance. Make sure you maintain space. Driving safely begins with your awareness of your vehicle, the condition of the road, and other drivers. The most common accidents happen during rear-end collisions, at intersections, and while backing the vehicle. The key to preventing accident is space. Speed. The faster you drive, the less reaction time you have. Posted limits are for dry, clear conditions. Adjust driving speed for the conditions. Patience. Keep your emotions under control. Don't allow the actions of other drivers to cause you to act in a reckless or unprofessional manner. Aggressive driving usually only gains a minute or two, but it also increases the odds of being involved in an accident. Awareness. Check your mirrors often, about every five seconds. Be aware of what is happening off the road, sleigh riders, children playing, people clearing driveways, and snowmobiles. Concentration. Don't get distracted. Activities to avoid while driving are using a cell phone, reading a map, eating, drinking, putting on makeup, or writing notes. Exit. Leave yourself plenty of room between you and other vehicles. Remember, smooth and slow on ice and snow. Beware of black ice when the roadway appears dry but the color of the pavement is darker and dull looking. Driving in winter conditions causes rapid mental and physical fatigue and reduces reaction times. Pass with care. Passing lanes are not as well maintained as driving lanes. Reduce your speed and drive smoothly. In slippery conditions, tires lose their grip more easily, affecting all aspects of your driving, braking, turning, and accelerating. The key is to drive as smoothly as possible, avoiding sudden actions or rapid movements of any kind. Drive as if you have a bowl of water in your lap and don't want to spill any. Allow longer braking distances. Plan on starting your braking sooner than you normally would in dry conditions to give yourself extra room and use more gentle pressure on the brake pedal. Don't lock your wheels when braking. Locked wheels can make the vehicle slide or skid. All PTI vans have anti-lock brakes. Simply depress the brake pedal firmly and hold it down. ABS typically sends a vibration or pulsing sensation through the brake pedal. If you feel this, don't let up. It's normal. The anti-lock brake system is designed to prevent wheel lockup, thus improving traction and steering control. 
Anti-lock brakes do not allow you to follow too close and expect that they will perform a miracle stop. To take full advantage of ABS, you must know how to operate them efficiently. Please observe in the following relative to ABS. Keep your foot on the brakes and maintain firm and continuous pressure. Do not pump the brakes even if the brake pedal is pulsing. The pulsing is normal for ABS braking. Practice driving with ABS. Become accustomed to pulsations that occur when anti-lock brakes are activated. Rules of Winter Driving Bridges and overpasses freeze before other road surfaces. Please use caution. Watch out for black ice. Black ice occurs when there are ice patches on the road that cannot be seen by normal viewing. Use greater following distances. Stopping distance on road with ice and snow can triple over distance under normal conditions. Double the 4 second rule to create a safety buffer zone behind the vehicle in front of you. One of the most terrifying experiences in winter driving is the skid. If it happens at high speed, the result could be disastrous. Remember, the expert driver is aware of the fact that the leading cause of death during winter driving is motor vehicle crashes. A disproportionate number of PTI accidents and crew injuries occur in winter. Be aware when the conditions are right for black ice and be on the lookout for icy patches. Pay special attention to overpasses and keep in mind wet ice warmed up by the sun can be twice as treacherous as cold ice. Any time the temperature drops below freezing and there has been precipitation of any kind, the condition is ripe for black ice. Black ice occurs when there are ice patches on the road that cannot be seen by normal viewing. Failing to anticipate the dangers of black ice when conditions are ripe for it is no excuse for losing control of the PTI van. When temperatures rise and the ice and snow melts, be careful when the temperatures drop below freezing again as the conditions are again ripe for black ice. A skid occurs when something affects traction and you lose control of your vehicle. Anything that comes between the tire and the surface affects traction. Your reaction? First, don't panic. No sudden changes in speed or direction. Ease off the accelerator and steer in the direction that the rear of the vehicle is skidding. Remember. Fresh snow can conceal icy roads. Skids result from unexpected forces. Black ice, driving too fast for conditions, sudden steering corrections or braking, or sudden accelerations. Skid recovery can be a matter of existence and demise. Press brakes firmly and hold them. Don't hit the brakes hard and release. That generally makes things worse. Take your foot off the gas and turn your steering wheel in the way you want the front of the vehicle to go. Turn on fog lamps or emergency flashers. Keep lights and windshield clean. And get off the road and wait if necessary. When the weather or road conditions are bad, you need to adjust your driving accordingly to prevent accidents. Drive more slowly. PTI's company policy is that headlights are on 24 hours a day, but you may have to turn on your wipers if necessary. Increase your following distance from 4 to 6 seconds in bad weather and when road conditions are poor. Avoid puddles. They can hide damaging potholes and get your brakes wet, which can make it harder to stop in an emergency. Be cautious when there is a light, misty rain after a dry spell. This moisture mixes with road oil to create a slick surface. Be prepared to handle a skid. If you skid, turn the wheel in the direction you want the front of the car to go. Use a light touch and keep your foot off the brake. For example, the back of your car is skidding to the right, that means the front of the car is heading to the left. To retain control and come out of the skid safely, you should turn the wheel gently to the right. One last offensive driving technique for bad weather during winter months. Beware of icy patches. Remember bridges, overpasses, and shady spots are most likely to freeze first and stay frozen longest. Failure to adjust to adverse conditions is a major cause of accidents. Reduced traction conditions can include snow, rain, ice, slush, and gravel. Defensive drivers should learn to keep their own vehicle safety under control and be prepared to compensate for errors other drivers make during poor driving conditions. Here's what to do. 
increase your following distance enough to avoid a rear-end collision if another driver brakes hard or suddenly. Use moderation in judging safe speeds. To maintain a safe stopping distance, slow down, but again, not so much that you become a hazard to drivers behind you. Apply your brakes gently and steer without jerky movements. Anti-Locking Braking Systems Anti-Locking Braking Systems, or ABS, during heavy braking may cause wheels to lock up. ABS employs sensors to detect wheel lockup. As the vehicle slows, a computer senses any wheel decelerating too rapidly, indicating that the wheel is approaching lockup. However, even with extremely efficient braking systems, you must still use a safe following distance in all conditions. Sensors enable a hydraulic system to pump the brakes up to 15 times per second, keeping the wheels from locking up, allowing the driver to maintain control and reduce stopping distances. With ABS brakes, you apply steady, firm pressure to the pedal. Do not pump the brakes. In some vehicles, pumping the brakes can actually disable the ABS, which could cause a crash. Anti-lock braking systems can't perform miracles. Don't be misled by ABS braking systems. Braking efficiency is limited by several factors. A vehicle's brake system also determines how motors should operate their cars in winter weather. All PTI vehicles are equipped with ABS or anti-lock braking systems, but not many drivers know how to use them properly. If the vehicle has ABS, the ABS logo will appear on the dashboard every time you start the car. In the event of a skid, anti-lock brakes rely on a computer in the car to pump the brakes more rapidly than you could pump them yourself. To make the system work, apply firm, steady pressure to the brake. When the ABS kicks in, you will feel a vibration or pulsing sensation on the brake pedal. Many drivers mistakenly believe this sensation signals a fault in the system. On the contrary, it means ABS is working properly. While the ABS is pumping the brakes very rapidly, the wheels will continue turning. This gives you control over the vehicle steering. In other words, you may be able to steer around an obstacle such as a car in front of you. Since many drivers aren't accustomed to being able to steer while skidding, they oversteer and risk running off the road. Be careful to turn the steering wheel just enough to avoid the obstacles. Winter Driving Techniques Clean all ice and snow off your windshield, mirrors, lights, and reflectors. Brush snow from the van's roof and hood. Do a walk around before leaving a crew drop off or pickup points. If a buildup of ice or snow occurs while driving, then stop in a safe location and re-clean them, especially the headlights and taillights. Use the front windshield defroster to keep the windows clear. Always use low beam headlights when it snows. Blowing snow not only makes it hard to see, it can also cover up roadway markings. In whiteout conditions, pull slowly to the shoulder and follow instructions from being, for being stranded. Make sure your wiper blades are in good condition and exerting proper pressure. Be aware that ramps, bridges, and overpasses may occasionally freeze first. Be aware of black ice, roads that look like they are wet but actually glazed with ice. Know how your anti-locks break in slippery conditions. Remember, do not pump your brakes if they are anti-lock brakes. Drive at reduced speed so you can stop quicker. Give turn signals sooner than usual. This gives other drivers more time to react. Maintain at least triple the normal distance from the vehicle ahead, 6 seconds or more. Drive well below the posted speed limit and avoid the use of cruise control when snow, ice, freezing rain, or sleet is on the pavement. The posted speed limits are intended for normal pavement conditions. Don't drive through whiteout conditions. Stay a safe distance behind other vehicles, especially snow plows. Remember, never try to pass a snow plow. Turn on your lights to see and be seen. Brush the snow off your headlights and taillights frequently. And remember, always buckle up. Severe Weather Policy A proactive engineering effort for the purpose of the inclement weather, suspension, modification, and resumption of service procedure, the following status definitions apply. Closed. 
No trips will be received or assigned to a location with a closed designation. Conditions do not allow for safe operation of a vehicle. Open. All trip requests accepted and assigned at locations with open designation. It's a case of safety first. Identify and evaluate. Safety first. When loading and unloading passengers, always open and close all doors. Do not get out and to open and close doors during winter weather conditions until the area has been surveyed to ensure the safety of all. Ensure the crew drop-off and pickup points are free of obstacles or uneven terrain that may contribute to slips and falls. Prior to getting out of the van and before allowing crews to exit the van, scan the area where your feet and crew's feet will be placed. If the area seems unsafe or could cause injury, do not drop off the crew in this location, but in an area that offer firmest footing based on your assessment. Crews may have to take a few more steps, but this is an excellent trade-off to ensure their safety. Crew drop-off and pickup points should be free of obstacles, and the area should offer firm or solid footing. You can do it. Don't slip up on safety. While employed at PTI, safe behavior is a condition of employment. It is the overall goal of PTI for all employees to return home upon completion of job duties with no injuries. In the workplace, a number of injuries occur due to carelessness and poor concentration. Awareness and concentration will make sure you are not injured while at work. How much of PTI activities occurring in areas with uneven terrain, ballast, and with the many different locations PTI employees travel to in their normal duties, employees must always pay attention to what they are doing and watch where they're going. Employees must report unsafe conditions in offices or in the field. To eliminate a chance of injury and when possible, PTI employees should utilize designated walkways and follow those paths that are free of debris and obstacles. The Safety Committee will review employees who place themselves at obvious risk of injury and PTI will protect their employees at all costs. Listed below are suggestions to follow to help avoid slips and falls. Avoid slippery and uneven surfaces when possible. Do not carry an object that blocks your view. Slow down when approaching corners. Always watch your step. Wet surfaces should be reported immediately. Do not engage in meaningless horseplay that may cause injury. Stop and look before changing directions. During winter-like conditions, employees should wear footwear that provides solid footing. Employees should be stationary when communicating via phone or radio. They should not walk or talk on phones. If an employee enters a building, their shoes should be free of oil and sand. Oil and sand contribute to a high number of trips and falls. Employees must watch out for raised carpets or surfaces that could cause a slip. Always maintain three points of contact when entering and exiting the van. Crews should be reminded prior to exiting or entering vans to maintain three points of contact. In summary, remember the three P's. Prepare for the trip. Protect yourself. Prevent crashes on the road, slow down, give distance, clean off windows, clean off all lights and turn lights. Realizing that we must protect our most important asset, you, the PTI driver, as well as our customers, PTI has implemented an inclement weather policy. Please review this policy with your branch manager prior to winter months. You play a very important role in the effectiveness of this policy. By following the safety tips found in this briefing before and during the winter, we will help alleviate most of the foreseeable problems down the road. This will help you wait for the first spring blooms in a much more tactful and less stressful manner. Be prepared. Be alert. Be safe. Your family's depending on you. Our customers are depending on you. And we are depending on you. The right way is the safe way.